pick it up, pick it up. Hey. Thank you, going. Hey, hey, let's go, hey. Hey. Just a good angle. I'm sure it's a fine angle, but I don't think the writing. I don't think the lighting is right. Hi. Today is May 17th. It's a Monday. And I'm at my piercers right now, but this is not a piercing video. No, it is not. Like, obviously, from the title, we're doing some hospital things, but not today. That's actually tomorrow. But I'm at my piercers right now because I'm getting, like, scans tomorrow, and I can't have any metal in my ears or, like, in me at all. So I'm gonna have to take out all my piercings, which totally sucks. Gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? So we're gonna take out the bar and the Shen Men today, and the septum, too, and we're gonna put retainers in them so that they don't close. Yesterday, I tried for, like, two hours, to get my septum jewelry out and my bar out, but I could not do it for the life of me. She had to have like welded that shit together because I could not do it. I tried using antibacterial soap to get all the oil off my fingers to get a better grip. I tried wearing gloves, like nylon gloves or like the hospital glove, plus I don't know what the fuck they are. The kind of gloves that they use to pierce you in the first place, they're like blue surgical gloves i tried using those that didn't work i just could not they're stuck together i couldn't do it i didn't even try with the shen men because it's like super sensitive and i'm kind of scared to go in like i've been having nervous farts ever since i got here i've been super nervous to go inside because my piercer is kind of rough i know she's gonna manhandle it and it's, it's fucking scaring me it's freaking me out man i don't want to go in there but uh i'm gonna because i have to and i'm just i'm fucking nervous and it i know it's not gonna hurt that bad at least i don't think i don't think it's gonna hurt that bad i think it's gonna hurt when she takes the shen men out let's just go let's just let's 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 let oh my god let's go let's go let's just go let's go this is what it looks like before we take it all out and then i'll show you what it looks like immediately after so just hold on ah uh, what's poppin i'm back and i was 100 percent right as you can see my septum's gone but it's just can you see up my fucking nose she put like a rotator in there and then we like flipped it up so you can't see it and it's really sore right now but it's fine because now i don't have to worry about it the bar's gone she put a retainer in everything except for the triples and my double nostril because if I take those out, they won't close. But everything else I was worried about, so we got fillers for everything. Now I'm all set to get poked, prodded, and scanned, which is, you know. Hey guys, it's been like five minutes since I last talked to you. I wanted to clear some things up before tomorrow. Yeah, I'm in a new parking lot now doing my makeup before I have to go out and like see people. For those of you who don't know me, which I'm gonna assume is like most of you that watch this, I have this disease called chronic relapsing inflammation of the optic nerve, otherwise known as optic neuritis. Um, and then I also have selective IgA, which is an immune disease. The optic neuritis is idiopathic. I've had it since I was like 13. I have minimal feeling in my fingertips and I'm colorblind from the optic neuritis. I'm red deficient. Um, and I think that's pretty much everything. But yeah, I'm getting my scans done tomorrow. And then I'm seeing the neurologist. And I really feel like there's like boogies in my nose, but it's really just the fucking big ass balls. Well, after I got my jewelry changed, my piercer, she's like super cool. She was like, so me and my boyfriend went to this place in Chinatown. Well, because like her son, he really likes cats and there's lots of stray cats in Chinatown. So like while he was hanging out with cats, she and her boyfriend went to go to this place where they make fresh noodles by hand every day. And she showed it to me and it looked like a fucking intestine. And she cut a piece off and she was like, here, try it. It was so good. I was really hesitant to like try it only because it was like visually disgusting. But I did and it, it was like chow fun, but better. 
it was like long it really did just look like an intestine like if i didn't know any better i'd be like this bitch is feeding me intestines it was really really good and i told her that i would go try it out and she drew me this little map because the place is kind of hard to find so she drew me a map sandy thank you for that one so that's why i'm going to the hospital tomorrow and i don't know if you guys know anything about mris but you can't have any metal on you like at all like no jewelry no nothing so people who have braces i don't know how they would get mris done i know that if you have metal on you they won't get a clear scan i don't know if you guys ever seen like an mri machine but it, it's like a circle and then you sit on the bed then, and then the bed goes inside i've heard horror stories of people who like forgot to take out their piercings and the walls are magnetized right so like they rip the piercings out I don't know if that's true. I don't think it's true, but that's fucking terrifying. And that's why I made it such a big deal to go get my piercings taken out because I don't fuck with that. That's not happening to me. And then depending on what the neurologist says tomorrow, I'm probably gonna have to get another spinal tap, which is uh, also known as a lumbar puncture. And it's a procedure where they stick a needle in your spine and they extract spinal fluid so that they can do testing with it. But yeah. That's where I'm at right now, but I'm about to be late for lunch, so I gotta go. I guess I'll just see you guys tomorrow. I keep wanting to fucking pick my nose, but I know it's not a fucking booger! bad lighting so I'm gonna make this fast but this is our outfit for the day the goal is to be comfortable but also like wear things that you can take off fast because when you get there they're gonna put you in a robe so I got my vans the ones that you don't need to tie leggings because it's comfortable a baggy shirt I think I have like a Calvin Klein sports bra with no wiring on and then just my coat so let's go get shit done Underwear and your shoes and socks on. Make sure you take off any kind of jewelry, okay? Then you can take off your hair. You I got my pokey and she dug around in there because she didn't get it the first time which is like the most uncomfortable feeling ever I didn't like it <laughs> I cried when she when she was digging in my arm with a needle I started crying and she told me she didn't feel bad for me because I have a lot of piercings and it took like everything I had to not get disrespectful that's fine. It took everything I had not to get disrespectful because I think I would have said you'd cry too if someone was digging in your arm with a needle. But I know she was doing her best, so I was just like, oh yeah, it doesn't hurt. With like tears coming down my eyes, I told her it didn't hurt. And then when we went into the scanning room, a bald guy came in and put things in my ears really roughly, which was annoying because 
I was afraid that maybe one of my retainers would fall out, but he was like shoving shit in my ears. He put earplugs and then he put these big ass headphones on me and he was like, what do you want to listen to? But like I didn't hear him at first because I have earplugs in my ears and headphones on. And then he was like, what do you want to listen to? And I was like, what? F I don't know, fucking music? What do you want me to say? A Finding Nemo? A podcast? I don't know, anything. And I don't know, they fucking played driver's license like six times. And then like 20 minutes in, they, they took me out and then they were like, we're gonna put your contrast in now so we can see if there is anything in your brain. And I was like, okay, cool. And then they did it and then I immediately tasted metal. And I was like, that's fucking disgusting. Almost kind of like blood. And I hated that, didn't like that at all. Now it's just like everything that I taste tastes weird but so far i've only had coffee and that made it the coffee tastes weird but we're leaving for now we're gonna go elsewhere because i want to get the fuck out of here i don't know when my results will be in but i'm sure everything's fine everything's cool i'm fine i'm fine everything's fine i'm a i'm a big girl 100 percent straight thugging i'm gonna have a mental breakdown <laughs> Okay, I'll see you in a sec. Hi everybody, um, we made it back home for a little bit. We gotta go back out again and uh, here she is. She's had a rough morning. She's resting now. She dug in my arm, you can tell. Look at that bitch. Damn. Damn. Oh my gosh. And she told me she didn't feel bad for me. Look how much I bled. People are gonna think I do heroin. Yeah, you, you wanna put it back there? <laughs> put it back this way. Yeah. We won't put it on too tight. Just okay. put one gauze. She put a punch because she knows she fucked up. Because she knows she fucked up. <laughs> she put it on tight too. She's like, well, this girl bleeding. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Okay. We have to go back to the hospital now. Round two. We're almost done though. I feel better from earlier. That nap did me good, but we should probably get on the road. So I'll see you guys when we get there. It's hot! Look at it, look at it. Hey. What you going? Hey, hey, let's go. Hey. Hey. Guys, guess what? So we have some feedback. So it says, 
and I had optic neuritis, but the MRI does not show any multiple sclerosis changes, which is very good. The doctor wanted me to get my blood drawn so that they could do an aquaporin for IgG cell binding assay. Not an assay, but an assay. To check if I have something called neuromyelitis optica, which is something that could also explain the optic neuritis. But for now, because I didn't want to get poked and dissected again, uh, we're not doing that today. We're gonna come back another time and do it. It's okay. We're one step closer to figuring everything out. But, oh my God, I don't have to get a spinal tap. No spinal tap, which is, that was the best part of the appointment, was I don't have to get a spinal tap. Wait, no, I'm not gonna worry. He said, we're not gonna repeat that, and I was like, thank God, because last time was really rough, and I would hate to go through that again. But now, we're done with hospital stuff, and I wanna do normal stuff. This might have been like a small kind boring vlog, but I thought it would be neat to show you guys how someone who has chronic illness goes through their hospital days because this one was actually a lot smoother than a, than ones that I've had in the past which I'm very grateful for because sometimes it can be really fucky day. at least we're not there at least we're not at Tripler Tripler almost killed me show show that show that bum ass hospital you can kind of see the corner of it right there fuck that place don't go there I found out not too long ago that Tripler is a learning hospital, which makes sense because I went there with like vision problems and I left there paralyzed from the waist down. I got I got my walking back, but the trauma, the trauma stays. Anyways, um, that's it for this one and thank you for joining me. I hope to see you guys next week for like the coolest vlog ever. It's your birthday! It's your birthday! It's your birthday! It's your birthday! It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 You gotta stop doing that. You gotta stop acting up in the vlogs. You can't, I'm serious. What? <laughs> you say what? What'd I do? Are you know, like, can you sing it? Thank you, baby. 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 Thank you